Hey everyone, it's Mike from Drive80.com, and today we're going to learn this effect that the Dodo uses a lot on their Instagram. Uh, it's really cool. It's really easy. It's using this uh, technique called Trim Paths with After Effects. You probably see this a lot in videos, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you're going to need to do is get a video that you can bring into After Effects. In this case, this is my Boston Terrier Portland, and he was just kind of, uh, he was just, being weird, so I got this screenshot from Insta from Instagram and I brought it in. Now, the first thing you want to do is just, you just got to draw a line. So you're going to hit G, you're going to get the pen tool, and um, I already have this like set up in a pre-comp, but I'm going to show you how to do it for yourself. So uh, make sure you're in the comp and just zoom in. Now make sure you're not selected, like the video or the image, whatever it is, is not selected. You want to undeselect that with Shift-Command-A. I am talking to Mac users, I apologize, but you can do Shift-Control-A if you're on a PC. And the first thing you do, real easy, is just draw a line. So draw a line, and that'll be coming out of the subject's uh, mouth area. And um, so you want to make sure that there's no fill. So you can click on fill, and then click on this little box here and get rid of that. And then you can take the stroke, and you can increase it. Now, the only issue with that, now if I hit V and then I select, now I don't want, like, I want it to be rounded. And a real simple way to uh, have that happen is just go over here to drop it down. And then you can go to contents, shape. Um, now, if I want to get this box or this panel by itself, I hit the tilde, which is right next to the number one. That'll open this up for you. That works with anything. So hit it again, it'll go away. If I hit here and hit that, it go, that'll increase. Hit here, that'll increase. Hit here, it'll increase. There you go, a little tip for you. But we're going to go back in here. And I can keep just going down. So if I found the, pad, now I found the stroke, and I just want to make the butt cap be rounded cap, and then hit tilde, it'll round the corners for you. Really easy. Another quick way to do this is if you hold Command tilde, it'll just open up that entire the all the stuff you can do with this. And, you know, again, this is this looks kind of complicated, but it's you know once you learn this stuff, it's really not that bad. But we're just going to focus on this one right here for the line cap. We're going to make it round cap. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add trim paths, and once that comes down, you're going to open that up and just click on both of these right here. Now, if I hit U, it'll just show me the things where I have keyframes, which is very helpful when you are in your workflow. I'm going to zoom in by hitting the plus sign. I'm going to just select these and just drag these to the beginning and hit I to go to the beginning of that uh, layer. And I'm going to hit tilde to show this line. Now, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to go over here. So at this point, all right, we, it doesn't matter where it is. We could just uh, fix it later. So I'm going to have the beginning keyframes are going to be in the beginning of this layer, start and end. And then I'm going to just drag it out a little bit and I'm going to just add these keyframes here. Okay. And so if, you just, if I scroll it, you don't see anything. But if I go to these end ones and if I just bring start and I bring it up to 100. And then if I go back to the beginning and if I take start or I take it end to bring it down to zero, and then drag it. Now you're going to see nothing's happening, but if I select and drag over these and push this out, so if I push it out to here to end, right, it'll just show this line being drawn. And then at the end, it'll show that it's going away. Now if I hit, if I render it, if I preview it, let me close this off by hitting B, so it loops there. So sure, there's a there's happening there, but I want it to start decreasing in size as it's getting to this point. So all you got to do is just take the start one and just bring it back. And then you'll see that it's going to make that movement. There you go. And you can bring this back a little bit and have that happen. And that's the line. So now what you can do is make duplicates of it. So here, I want to grab my anchor point. So I hit Y. I can bring it right to about, let's say here. Because if I rotate it, if I hit W, if I rotate it, I can see I want to go around that path. So I'm going to hit Command D. I'm going to duplicate this line and make sure I have W, which is this rotation tool here. Or you can just hit R, and I'll show you rotation, and you can just move it. And if I hit Command D again, it'll bring up another one. And instead of hitting R this time, I'm going to use the, you know, the rotation tool by hitting W, and I'm just going to drag it around. And now if I hit Play, if I hit Render, you can see that it's doing this. And that's it. Now, if I want to decrease the the time it takes to um, to end, I'll just drag this up. I'll just take these guys and drag them over here, and you can just play around with that. And there it is. And I can just now I took all of them, selected all of these, 
and option click the end and bring it in it'll speed up there you go but now if I'm not too stoked on where that is I can pre-comp these by hitting shift command C and just name it bark I'll name it bark 2 because I already have a bark 1 there and now if I go in there it shows me that I've got the bark happening here so I can also go here and click on region of interest and I can just draw around it and just make sure that it's not going out okay cool uh, it's kind of getting outside. Move this up, and I go to composition, comp, crop comp uh, to region of interest. There we go. And we go back to Portland. Now it moved it because I did that. So all I got to do is just move it up here to where I want it to be. And let's see how this looks. Maybe control. There we go. Okay, so it's not really where I want it to be. But there it is here, and I can hit Y. So now since it's in a comp, I can control all of these and make it do whatever I want. So I could be here. I could even, you know, maybe rotate it. So I've got like um, Command R, or Option R, I'm sorry. And I can maybe maybe just like have it follow his head. So I hit W and just bring it down. Let's see how that looks. There you go. There you go. So now you can control it. So it's always good to put things in comps and um, because you can move them around. But that's it. So awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just email me at Mike. Uh, Mike at drive80.com. There it is, right in the middle. And uh, yeah, you can answer, ask, I'll answer any questions that you have. You can comment wherever this video is posted in the comments section. Uh, you can share this with your friends if you know if you know anyone who is interested in learning After Effects. And uh, if you just want to get some one-on-one -on -one you know lessons, you can email me. I do uh, an hourly rate. And we, uh, my company also specializes in explainer animations. If you are looking to explain what your company does or you're frustrated that no one understands what it is, we can solve that problem in less than 90 seconds. Just go to drive and you'll learn more. So thank you for giving me your time.